I just received my oxygenation kit from Spike, and so I thought I'd share it with you. So first things first though, why did I want to add it to my system? Well, to me, fermentation is the most important step in the brewing process. And so with that in mind, to have the best possible environment for your yeast to thrive, it sort of suggests that you do in fact want to aerate with pure oxygen. Because you want to make sure that what you wind up is a fermentation like this. So up until now, what have I been doing? Well, I took the first step a while back and got an oxygen tank, a stone that I just put on the end of this tube. With a little bit of use with it, I added this meter here so I know what the flow rate really was. And I started tracking how many batches of beer I could do. I have two videos that talk about this and I'll put the links up here. One's focused on active fermentation, what you can do, it's only a couple minutes long. The follow-on video is particularly around the oxygen side of things because there are a lot of interesting questions that came out. One of the things I thought about and considered before even going this route was, how long would this oxygen bottle last and is it gonna be expensive? My assumption was, yeah, it would be. Well, I was really pleasantly surprised to find out that this little bottle here, it'll last you at least a year. In the spike manual, at the suggested flow rates using their system, they state that you can oxygenate 200 gallons of beer. So for me, since I do eight gallon batches, that's gonna be 25 brew days with this one bottle. So you can see from the economics of using the oxygen, once you're set up, it really doesn't cost that much at all. So let's look at what comes in the box, then I'll quickly assemble it off camera and then do a little demo on how it works. So here we go. So in the kit, you have everything that you need, including get the tri-clamp, get your gas post. If you get the full kit, it includes the carb stone. And then of course you need to have the oxygen regulator and a way to attach it to the oxygenation stone itself. So like I say, I'm gonna go off camera. I'll use a little bit of Teflon tape on this. I'll go ahead and have things all put together, mount my new regulator onto the existing oxygen bottle, and then set up a little demo so we can take a look at it. Sit tight, let me get to work. Well, that went together really easily. Let's take a little close up here. You can see exactly what we've got. Regulator on top of the oxygen bottle. Let's get a little closer up on the carb stone. You can see how that's mounted and protected inside. So really all there's left to do is to hook it up, give a little demo. Pretty excited about using this. Okay, now I've got it set up in demo mode so you can actually see it in work. So all I've done is I've taken the stone itself, attached it to a reducer that I have, connected on top of that my sight glass and just filled it with water so we can actually visually see the aeration, the oxygenation occur. On the regulator itself, you've got a gauge that shows how much oxygen is still left in the bottle. And I'm pretty darn low, I'll say that much. Up here on the top is the flow rate. It's in uh, fine increments, and we're going to take it up to one quarter liter per minute. So let's go. Let's take a visual and see what we get. Okay, I'm back from a brief intermission. I had to run to the hardware store to get a new oxygen bottle, because literally this one just ran out as I was getting ready to do the demo. So we'll go ahead and swap the tank out. And by the way, I went ahead and added up all my little tick marks here on the sides. I had 35 uses out of this bottle. So again, a little oxygen goes a long way. Let's screw on the new one. There we go. And again, 
I can see in the uh, meter here that this tank's full. Glad to see that. I've got it connected to my little demo structure here. I'm going to start turning on the uh, gas and we'll just go from here. 32nd, 16th, 18th, and finally one quarter liter per minute. Let me grab the camera so you can see that. So the whole point is to diffuse the oxygen into really small bubbles that can be absorbed by the liquid. I'll leave you with one last image. Here it is all connected up to the fermenter, ready for action. The Oxygenation Kit by Spike Brewing.